Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. So this is the episode two of Scholar Spotlight series. And we are having our guest Aditi from GNCSR Bangalore. So I would like to like welcome you Aditi in the second episode of Scholar Spotlight series. So she is a master student at uh, GNCSR Bangalore. So hi, uh, how are you Aditi? I'm fine. Everything going good? Yes, yes, everything is going fine. Yeah, so I would like to ask you, can you please introduce your institute, your department and your research area and what motivated you to pursue in this field? I'm currently a final year MSc student. So my course name is MSc in Interdisciplinary Biosciences uh, at uh, JNCSR, which is Jawala Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research in Bengaluru. Uh, so I'm currently in Molecular and Genetics Department, and I'm currently doing my uh, MS thesis work uh, in Cancer Biology and Epigenetics. Okay, that's great. So uh, can you please elaborate about the selection process for your course and via which exam you have taken admission? What were the cutoffs? Is there any interview or are there any additional requirements like some specific subjects are to be taught in UG? And what makes your institute special compared to others? Uh, so I gave IIT jam in 2023 and I got All India rank 83. Uh, so it was a normal application form. You have to fill it. Uh, there was a column for like what is your research interest? Like just uh, one or two paragraph you have to write in your uh, application form. And uh, yeah, then according to your uh, score, your rank, they... Uh, make a list, uh, interview list. Uh, the interview list comprises almost like 150 students. Okay. Uh, yes. So I didn't, I don't know what is a cutoff, like, because it changes every year according to the paper. Like, if it's hard, then the cutoff is, uh, the cutoff goes low. Uh, if it's easy, then cutoff goes high. So during uh, my time, like uh, maybe 200 rank or 250 rank was the last student in my class who got admission. But it depends on the interview completely. So after uh, the interview, there is only one round of interview. Uh, and then after two or three weeks, they announce the result. Approximately 25 students they take uh, for this course. And... After admission, normally only 20 people takes the admission. So yes, this was the process, whole process of my admission. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Aditi, for uh, such a detailed answer. So mm -hmm. I would like to ask, uh, as you already said that you appeared for IIT Jam. So uh, apart from that, you also said there is an interview like shortlist yes. for the shortlisting uh, process like it's a part of the shortlisting process for the final mm -hmm. admission so what was the difficulty level and what kind of question they asked in the interview is it contains only biology portion or physics chemistry maths as well are included so what's the overall so my, yes so my course like msc in interdisciplinary biosciences so it also my course also have chemistry uh, a bit of not bit of chemistry we had a full course on on organic chemistry so in interview they uh, ask chemistry question as well like kinetics and then techniques which are uh, related to uh, chemistry like spectroscopy and all so it's not only about uh, uh, biology they will ask you physics chemistry biology and basic not at all like higher level questions, basic questions. Yeah. So as you told that they will ask in the form to write about your uh, subject of interest. So is it kind of statement of purpose thing or it's like just mentioning the uh, like subjects of interest? Just mentioning because they don't ask that in interview at all. So okay. it's not that important. 
so whatever you uh, like a student will mention in the form is it compulsory to continue like their research like or their thesis project in the same subject or they can like uh, no no they can choose so here uh, we have a summer internship after the first year and you choose lab uh you they give you the list of labs you can go and you have to choose it and according to you accordingly you get the lab uh then normally in our uh, in my batch uh, everybody has selected the same lab for ms thesis as well so okay. there is no restriction that if you have put this subject then you have to go in that lab only you can select any lab Okay, so that is Offering. a liberty given. Yeah, that's yes. good. Okay, so talking about your study plan, as you said, you like you took admission via IIT Jam. So how did you plan your preparation timeline, and what what were the most effective study technique you used? Because you actually have a very good rank. So yes. So uh. like six month prior i thought that i should give iit exam so i ordered the book normal everywhere everyone follow pathfinder life sciences book so i also followed that and i also took subscription that you also know as well uh, on an academy but it was uh, actually uh, ma'am avantika bansal ma'am who taught the whole biology course for the iit jam uh, yeah. so if i remember correctly i prepared like seriously for four months like daily i used to watch one lecture or two lecture uh, the most important thing is making notes and not well, you know like very small, like point wise note not like you have to write a paragraph or something point wise you have to make notes that's very important and after you finish a topic you should definitely practice the mcq like 50 to 70 mcq however you can uh that was my uh, strategy prepare a topic then solve the mcq then revise it uh, like if you have like after one week or two week regularly revise a topic so in Four month, I was able to complete like seventy percent of the IIT Jam portion. I didn't do hundred percent, which is very difficult to do. So yeah, with seventy percent uh portion only, I got a eighty three rank. Yeah, that's very great, and we are fortunate enough to have you with us for guiding the future aspirants. So thank yes. you. Much Aditi for first of all for joining and second, like like unbiasedly giving all the answers without any filter. So thank you so much. And the next question I would like to ask you is, uh, on like I would like to ask you a single question regarding exam and uh, your uh, exam day strategy. So uh, how how did you approach the questions that were like? you you didn't know like you haven't heard of that concept so did you skipped it or you made a educational guess for how many question you took the risk for negative marking so what was your exam day strategy so for topic which i have never heard or i have never seen that mcq at all i skipped it mm-hmm. because i know i cannot solve it and taking a guess would just give me a negative marking so i just i just skipped it but some uh, uh, i guess some questions in iit jam doesn't have negative marking right msq and nta for that you can take a guess and try to solve it uh, and for some topic like you have read it but you don't remember at that point so i left that msq at the end of the exam so that was my strategy to solve the uh, questions during the exam Okay, thank you so much for sharing your strategy with the juniors. So, uh, I would like to ask you one or two questions regarding your interview. So, uh, the interview was there. So, can you share some actual kind of questions or the related topics from which they asked more question? I mean, I just want to know the topics which carries more weightage in the interview. 
according to you according to me there is no such topic because when i heard from my friends who got admitted so their interview question was very different from what they asked me so like for me they asked from uh, microbiology genetics because i uh, because they asked which topic you are comfortable with so i said okay i am comfortable with genetics and molecular biology so they started asking question from genetics like what is epistasis like just a definition and then they asked me about uh, some uh, techniques like biochemical techniques like spectrometry what is that uh, then what is the principle of it then raman spectroscopy uh, so like basic question what is the principle what is the working principle then from molecular biology they asked me about telo telomerase enzyme okay so the question was quite basic not that hard for my some of my uh, uh, batchmates uh, they asked like cell cycle questions what are the different uh, stages of cell cycle then uh, enzyme kinematics like draw the graph and all okay thank you so much for sharing the questions aditi so uh, i would like to ask you about your life at the institute now so how rigorous is the course work and research at your institute what kind of research opportunities projects and labs are available so starting with the course so the course is very vigorous so if you are ready to study like eight courses a semester then then you should apply here and it is quite interdisciplinary then means like it's not only biology there is a uh, one or two courses every uh, semester which is related to chemistry like in my uh, first semester there was organic chemistry and biomedicinal chemistry so it was uh, quite shocking to me because i didn't think because this was a uh, this was first co- uh, first time course we were the first batch of this course it's a newly started course in jns csr so we were the first batch so it there was organic chemistry but the professor was quite good uh, he taught us like we are biological background so he taught accordingly okay. so it's quite vigorous in first semester we had like eight courses uh in second semester we had nine courses including lab so in second and third semester you have lab course in first semester you don't have the lab course okay. so yeah it's quite vigorous <laughs> yeah, yeah so thank you so much for sharing your experience so uh, i would like to ask you one more question regarding campus life how is the overall student life if i'll ask you in from the perspective of a student so how is the campus environment is it to very nice yeah so is it it's supportive or yeah it's very supportive and the campus itself is very beautiful so when you like walk around there are you can only see trees and trees and trees so it's very good refreshing you don't you know some campus are very depressing but it's not like that it's okay. very good you feel very fresh oh that's and the... the student community is also very good and welcoming yeah so that's very good about it and mm-hmm. like you are surrounded by nature so, so whenever you feel depressed about your studies or something like re- re- yeah course work is rigorous and all so you can just go for a walk and refresh your mind yeah yes, so yes. that's good to hear and uh the last question about your life at institute is uh what were the biggest challenge you faced after joining how did you overcome them and settle down into the new environment it may be regarding your uh, like hostel life or your uh, like your course work re- related to lab or related to some difficult subject anything so like for hostel life it was very easy like the rooms were good and everything is uh, good and fine with hostel life but yeah course was uh, quite vigorous because eight courses 
that to the courses were like very different like one is neurobiology then second is biochemistry then biostatistics organic chemistry so all the courses were very different as the course name is interdisciplinary biosciences so yeah. it was quite difficult to handle all the all the courses at a in one semester so that is one thing but yeah like my batchmates were very good so we used to do group studies so okay. it was easy to overcome the exam yeah that's good to hear and one more thing i would like to ask is uh, as you said you have to select a lab so is it compulsory to select lab from biosciences only or you can select from chemical sciences mathematics or any yeah yeah yes you can select from any department or like there are three department one is uh, chemistry and material science and one is chemist uh, pure chemistry and one is our biological department so in okay. our biology department also there is two one is neuroscience and one is molecular and genetics so you can choose any lab okay. so they give a list uh, so accordingly okay thanks for the information aditi and now i would like to ask about the advice for our future aspirants what common mistakes should student avoid during their preparation you shouldn't take breaks like some people start like very early like say, before 6 months they start preparing and then they just get bored or tired and then they take one month or two months break and then again start preparing that shouldn't happen you should like prepare in one go like take a four month uh, uh set a four month uh, deadline that i have to finish my uh portion that i have set and finish it in one go like in four months finish the whole syllabus don't take any break in between okay so thanks for your tips aditi and so if you just have to summarize your journey in one sentence what would it be Hmm. Or maybe one word. Believe you. I guess believe you should believe in yourself. Like I never believed, like I would get such a good uh, rank. But yeah, I uh kept doing uh like studying and study, and yeah, I got a good rank. Yeah. So so nice of you, Aditi. Thank you so much for such a detailed. explanation sharing your experience giving tips to our future aspirants so thank you so much wishing you a great 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 and great career ahead so yes. see you soon thank you yeah yes. so thank you so much sure. for joining